。Hey guys, 皆さんこんにちは。今日は日本語の窃盗語をと語の使い方について勉強します。So today we're going to take a look at Japanese prefixes を and 語。Okay, so today we're going to take a look at Japanese prefixes o and go. The function of these hiragana o and go is to make a word polite and also to beautify a word. By beautifying sounds, this makes your speech a little more sophisticated. First, let me show you some words that already have o and go attached to them. おかず、おかず、おかず is side dishes that go with rice. ごはん、ごはん。So, as you may already know, ごはん is rice, but it's cooked rice. ごはん is cooked rice. And there are some words that already have prefixes attached to them, but their original words Have different meanings. For example, this kanji means cold. Tsumetai. Tsumetai. But when you put a o, this becomes ohia. Ohia. Ohia means water, cold water. And we have this word. Nigiri. Nigiri. Nigiru means to grab something, but when you attach a o to this, this becomes onigiri. Onigiri. Onigiri is a rice ball. Rice ball. Onigiri. Basic rule for which prefix to use is determined by where the word is originated. In Japanese, we have Words that are originated in Chinese language, which is also known as Kango. And we have Japan made words, they are called Wago. A lot of Kango which are used daily will take O in many cases. However, there are some exceptions as well. Let's take a look at this word. Denwa. Denwa. Is a telephone. Although denwa is a Japan made word, it is pronounced in on yomi, which is on reading, but this word will take o prefix, and this becomes o denwa. Soji is also considered a kango, but this will take an o. O soji. And next we have some words that are wago. But they take go prefix. Yukuri. Yukuri means slowly, but this will take go prefix, so it becomes go yukuri. Go yukuri. Motomo. This means correct or reasonably. This will take a go prefix, and this becomes go motomo. Gomotomo. And also, words related to household items and food will take o in many cases. Toire, bathroom or toilet becomes o toire. Yasai, vegetables becomes o yasai. Kashi, snacks becomes o kashi. Okay, so we're gonna do a little fun test. I'm going to give you some words and you will guess whether o or go will be the right prefix for these words. Cha, cha. Kao, kao. Kinjo, Kinjo, Kaimono, k 
買い物意見意見挨拶挨拶金金風風米米財布財布希望希望母さん母さん酒酒両親両親訪問訪問。Okay, so how many words did you get it right? These words are used very often in conversations, so memorize whether these take O or GO. Let me show you some words that can take both O and GO. 返事、返事。You can say, ご返事、お返事。都合、都合。This can be, ご都合、ご都合。お都合、お都合。通知、通知。This can be ご通知、ご通知、お通知、お通知。会計、会計。This will be ご会計、ご会計、お会計。お会計 So these words are special words that can take either go or o, but you have to know when to use go and o. When you use go, this will make the word sound a little bit more formal. In old Japanese, o prefix was used by female. However, now this became the norm for polite speech in modern Japanese. So, one thing to note is that you want to avoid using too many of these words with prefixes because this will make it sound overly polite. But if you don't use them at all, you will sound a little bit rude. So, you have to find the right balance. How do you do that? By listening to a lot of native speakers' conversation and learn from it. Okay, I hope you understand why we have O. And go prefix to make words polite and how they are different. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. それではまた次のビデオでお会いしましょう Thanks for watching.